Hi guys, um, I'm just going to forewarn you, I'm very new to the whole YouTube thing and uh, making videos. This is my very first video ever, so please bear with me. Um, right off the bat, I just want to say thank you to Yunkin Zim and Tattoo Cookie and a lot of other resin makers out there. Um, I saw a YouTube video about it and just really fell in love with the process and so I've started to kind of play around with it. Um, definitely have a long way to go but um, I figured I would show you guys some of my creations. Um, I can show you a couple of my very first ones um, and then kind of move on to some that I've been playing with now. Um, any of these I would be willing to part with. Um, so if anybody wants to purchase any, uh, I'm debating about whether or not to open up an Etsy store, um, because I do do a lot of crafts, um, I do the resin now, and I make jewelry, I do scrapbooking, and card making, and quilting, and you name it, I pretty much try it. Um, but let's just get started, and I'll show you some of my first ones. This one, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but it has like a heart paper clip in there. Um, and I made this one for my son's teacher. She loves bumblebees, so I thought that'd be kind of cute for her. I did this flag one. With the American flag. I do have bales. I haven't put them on all of these yet because uh, I only have a, a number of um, small number of them at the moment and I'm trying to get some more but I love this one. Um, I'm definitely going to keep this one for myself and put some crystals for a necklace on it and uh, and then there's this one. It's a kitty cat with a ball of yarn And purple is my favorite color, so I have several purple ones. This one I thought I would actually use in uh, one of my wedding albums. Um, some of these aren't sanded yet. This one's not sanded. But it's a moon and a star. And this one, I tried it. I don't 100% love it because it's a bead. And during down the center, you can kind of see the line to where you would string it on a wire or whatever. <clears throat> My nephew loves Spongebob. So here's a Patrick. And a Spongebob. And a Squidward. I love the blue on this one. I did a cat charm for my uh, ex-mother-in-law that has this blue and I just think it turned out really pretty. And this seashell and that is actually a seashell in there. I did this one um, but I didn't wait to do the second layer um, long enough and so the sand kind of came around the shell but that is actual sand in there. And those were the very first ones that I had done. Uh, moving on to some, oh, and this one. I made this one for my son for Halloween. And he just loved it. <clears throat> and then my niece, she wanted one, but she wanted hers to look like Batman. So I did a Batman symbol for her. Uh, this is Mickey Mouse. I really like this one. I actually made it as a gift, but I'm so in love with it, I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm going to be able to part with that one. I might have to make another one and give her that one. I did Bella from Twilight for you Twilight fans out there. And I can do um, Edward and Jacob. So if anybody is an Edward fan or a Jacob fan and you want to request one, and um, then we can work on that. Uh, a couple other of my firsts here that I forgot about. My son tried to confiscate several of them. But this one's a little spaceship. The camera doesn't really capture it all that great, but the glitter in the background is very holographic. He loves penguins, but this one didn't really turn out as well as I wanted it to because I think the blue on top is a little too dark for it. 
And he loves Halloween, so here's a little ghost one for him. This one, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's a skull. He did this one. He made his own little creation for the inside <clears throat> of it. He mixed some nerds and some glitter in there. He is absolutely in love, of course, with Angry Birds, so I had to make him an Angry Bird pendant. But I can make more of those as well. And then I made some smaller ones. A little yellow guy. I still have several to make for the rest of the guys, but another yellow one with a different background. The little pig. Um, <clears throat> this moon. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, I was trying to play with layering, and I wanted to do these horses with like a tree in the background, but I didn't have a small enough tree, so I just layered the horses. And since it is coming on Christmas, I thought I'd do several Christmas ones, in case anybody wanted a Christmas pendant. So this one's stars. You can hang it either way. I think I was going to do it this way, though. Um, I'll show you my Christmas ones. These aren't glazed yet. Um, I just got done sanding these. But this is a Santa, and he's got presents, actually, in the background. Some Christmas trees. I like this little snowman. My son's trying to steal this one from me. Uh, let's see. I did a penguin with some presents in the background, and he absolutely loves penguins. He has for years now, so of course he's trying to take all my penguin ones. And that one. And I like this one as well. This is using tinsel glitter in the background. It's very sparkly. Another penguin, of course. And... Christmas, another Christmas tree. And then this little polar bear sticker, I was trying to kind of learn and play with him, but he did wind up getting a little air bubble right there, so I think I might put a gem or um, a crystal there or something to hide that. And then this one, I was trying to see if I could do the sticker without um, sealing it, but he did wind up with some spots. But other than that, I think he turned out cute. I like the blue in the background. And the avatar, I tried to do the Mod Podge to cover him, but his finger still didn't quite turn out. So I'm going to have to play with that a little bit more. And I did a couple that are Minnie Mouse. Mm, it's not really focusing. That one and this one. And this is a little pet shop frog. Kind of a subtle background. And another kitty cat in pink. really looks like he's floating in there. And then this one was for another one of my son's teachers. She wanted a purple flower. It's actually purple flower with pink background. So I made this one for her. And then I kind of had some leftover, so I did this little totem pole guy with the resin. And this one is a fail. I just popped it out, and I didn't realize that the heart is upside down. But other than that, I thought it would have been cute, so I might have to make another one and make sure that I get the heart in there. It's kind of hard because you got to put them in backwards, and on the other side, the letters are actually upside down. So I didn't realize that with the heart. So I'll have to redo that one. Uh, oh, I also have a purple skull that I thought turned out really good like this, but I'm trying to use that um, brush-on-mold stuff to make a skeleton, uh, mold, a better mold. Because uh, this was a candy mold and it was really hard to pop these out. So let me know what you think and um, 
you know, if anybody wants to purchase anything, just message me and let me know. And other than that, uh, I hope to have more videos soon. Thanks for watching.